you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed for the revelation of his glory that means one of the ways that he reveals his glory is by walking miracles john chapter 2 and verse 11 this beginning of miracles the bible says did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory how did he manifest his glory by beginning to do miracles the bible says and the disciples believed in him hallelujah in john chapter 20 from verse 30 and 31 give it to us please john 20 and many other signs truly did jesus in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book 31 it says but these are written that ye might believe that jesus is the christ the son of god and that in believing you might receive life through his name so there are no limits to what he's able to do hallelujah Several people have come right now with oppressions of darkness and there is no reason. You can't have, some of you have come here from as early as 8, 9 in the morning. Can you imagine to wait that long only to experience the power of God? Would it be just and fair that you return back the way you came and then the only thing you say is, well, I came for a miracle service. What then is the miracle about the service? hallelujah so as i minister by the spirit i want you to focus not just on people falling and standing up focus on what the power of god is doing and then especially in your own life too believe that god is doing something in your life when god gives a prophetic word say for instance even if your name is not called and it applies to you right where you are what he says to one he says to all you can connect by faith is a father and the lord who has transited in glory archbishop benson in Dahosa, who says if your faith says yes god will not say no he says if ye being evil know how to give good gifts how much more will your heavenly father hallelujah Several people are here under the influence of strange, unclean, the Bible calls them wicked spirits that masquerade behind the negative conditions of men. I hope you know that most negative conditions in the lives of people are sponsored and influenced by the presence of demon spirits. And fighting physical things is only a total waste of time. It is authority in the name of Jesus that is able to deal with these demonic forces. And that separation is what the Bible calls deliverance. The greatest of them being your salvation itself. Because salvation is the chiefest expression of deliverance. Being translated, the Bible says, from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. But that does not neglect nor downplay other dimensions of deliverance. Like that which happens upon Mount Zion. Because the Bible says, but upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. Then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Are you ready tonight? As for me, for as long as I live, the devil will not rest. For as long as I live, there will not be one person who comes under this, this prophetic atmosphere. Oppressed by the devil. Acts 10.38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing not all they that were sick. That means most sicknesses are issues of deliverance. Healing all that they, all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
so please when people are falling under the anointing close to you we have a lot of ushers hundreds of them but they are limited and we need to stretch and work with time if someone is under the anointing close to you whether you are an usher or not if there is a call to bring them out please do well to bring them out let's work together so that god grants us grace in the name of jesus one last prayer father i'm ready locate me and visit me go ahead and pray locate me visit me locate me visit me in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ when we minister deliverance it's not just an issue of anointing and power there is a dimension of kingdom authority you see authority is higher than power it is authority that gives power its legitimate ground to be administered are we together the person who has power and the person who has authority one with authority is greater because you can use power illegitimately authority is what gives power its credence for instance if you carry a gun and you shoot someone you can be in jail for the rest of your life because you have power but you do not have authority is that true yeah when you get to the court of law they are not going to ask you if you have a gun they will say based on what what gave you that authorization but no judge will call a military man and say why did you shoot these people when you are in war they got the command to fire from their commanding officer and they acted so are we together now he said we have been commanded to bless so I'm about to pray and I'm going to ask you to start bringing those under the anointing it's interesting how God does this thing believe me you would think that after walking in the with the power of God for so many years you should get used to the dynamism of the workings of God's power I still I still am amazed and how the power of God rests upon people and the, the, the entire administration of the power of God is still a, a maybe not a surprise in all fairness but it still keeps me in oh I'm, I'm just saying my God I fear you every time I see him do this thing now you can imagine a, a, a church is silent peaceful matured able-bodied looking people and in seconds just like that deliverance and all kinds of things begin to happen to people what a marvelous God we serve hallelujah so I'm going to pray God has given me the marching orders by his spirit ordinary men helped by God hallelujah the power of God is going to begin to fall on people now don't shout don't say anything I just want you to bring them out I'm seeing the ground open and I'm seeing something look like smoke coming out of that ground and this is connection with ancestry and the spirits of the dead and there are people within this auditorium and outside there are all kinds of demonic fraternities and right now by the Spirit of God the power of God is beginning to rest on such families and altars please bring them out bring them out right now it's not something you can stand this is this is by the Spirit of the Living God Please prick them out and bring them out very quickly. Jesus is alive and the power of the grave is broken, broken forever. I decree and declare right now that everything young and old, there are some of you who are standing representing families, fraternities with the grave, the spirits of the dead. It says, oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? May that grace come upon you now, bringing liberty, bringing liberty, bringing liberty by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Marvelous God. Now God is showing me something. I'm seeing something that looks like a shadow coming out of people like physically shadow these are spirits that have been moving in the bodies of people in the name of Jesus 
every familiar spirit every spirit that is not of God that has connected itself to your spirit manipulating your life and your destiny I declare that it leaves you right now I bring you deliverance right now by the power of the Holy Spirit 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 hallelujah now we're going to shout that name Jesus please hear me this is not just for individuals now there are many many families the Lord is showing me I'm seeing a man standing a very tall man and I'm seeing chains on your feet both of your feet they are under chains and the Lord is telling me that that man represents families it's not just an individual we're about to shout that name Jesus the moment that happens the power of God will come on individuals representing their various families no matter where they are some of them may not be here on ground but the power of God is coming upon them are you ready to shout that name Jesus one two three shout Jesus I break those chains I break those chains now I break those chains now I release families under demon under demonic captivities chains be broken 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 hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here in fact for that person I don't know if it's that you have changed the surname or you want to change the surname because someone told you something about the surname and said there is something connected to ancestry that comes with that name who is that person I'm about to pray for that person I'm seeing a lady you are wearing red complete red down this is you are one of such persons that the Lord wants to visit with that name I'm giving it please let's respect the I give the chains falling I give the chains falling let me tell you the truth now I'm not I'm not advising you to go and change names I am just telling you that in the realm of the spirit a name is more than a means of identification are we together now to the an extent that God would call Abraham Abraham Sarai Sarah Cephas Peter I want to pray right now I'm going to stretch my hands towards you the power of God is going to come you don't have to change the name physically but from the realm of the spirit any connection with any name in the name of Jesus those in front I stretch my hands right now every altar that powers any name to work evil over you in the name of Jesus I declare right now at the count of three let it be broken one two three break break now 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 every name connected to ancestry I'm saying it again names that came as a result of dedications done to idols names that came as a result of covenants with the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead from the realm of the spirit I break the power of those names now I break the power of those names now I break the power of those names now I'm telling you I'm just see fire rising in front that's what I'm saying I say it again I break the power of those names now the power of the help that woman the power of those names now please hear me I'm praying for everybody but then for those in front here any exchange that has happened in the realm of the spirit an exchange of your destiny 
on account of Bakatos Ketekata, an exchange of Abare Ketos Kiata. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing exchanges happening. Let there be a restoration now. A restoration now. By fire. A restoration now. A restoration now. A restoration now. Release your destinies. Release your destinies. Every altar. Release your destinies now. Please hear me. Some of you, while I'm praying for you here, your loved ones who are not here, but because they are connected by bloodline, what God is doing, I'm saying it again. He said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. The mother called him Jabez, sorrow. Every name, spiritually and physically, that is upon your life right now and is responsible for your destruction. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. Let that name change now. The power behind that name, I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer right now. For those who can, you can return to your seat. Um, I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. Listen carefully now. And the Spirit of the Lord is taking me to Benue State. And I'm hearing the name Aleku. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any family that is connected to that spirit of divination. Right now, the power of God is going to come on some people. That spirit, Alec, be broken. Be broken, be broken. The spirits of the dead, help them please. Benway State, or anyone connected to that state, in the name of Jesus Christ, be broken now. Be broken now. I don't know what it is that you have to do with a tree but the Lord is showing me a tree every covenant it is true that believers are called trees but not demonic trees I decree and declare every connection with the elements of creation that is for your destruction I set you free now hallelujah hallelujah let me share with you what God just showed me this is an incredible vision I just stood here now you know how you open peanut or granot you just open the shell and God is telling me there are destinies that have been wrapped up by demonic altars listen listen fire is about to fall on some people now I want you to bring them out every destiny I don't know by what demonic means your glory was covered but in the name of Jesus, by the power and the authority of Jesus, as you shout the name, there are ministries that will rise tonight. There are visions that will rise tonight. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Please bring them out. One, two, three. I open up that closed destiny. I open up that closed destiny. I open up, my God, please help them. I open up that closed destiny right now. Be open. Be open. Be open. Please help them. Be open. Hallelujah. Now, now is not the time for impartation, but the Lord is asking me to pray for a gentleman. You don't have to come out so that you are not embarrassed. You were genuinely called into the prophetic. God has called you into the prophetic, but something happened one day. Now, I don't, I don't speak evil against the body of Christ, but you were introduced to somebody who supposedly laid hands on you and gave you something. You know, maybe I don't know, I, I presume not intending for evil.
but that thing connected you with familiar spirits from that time you started having very destructive visions and even torture for yourself i don't know who that person is whether you are inside or outside or online but in the name of jesus the lord is asking me to minister your deliverance be set free now i declare the purity of your mantle let there be restoration now hallelujah i'm seeing the number seven a woman seven years you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I know there are many people, but please, let's just work with instructions. Seven years. Who is that person? Seven years. Very quickly, I want to begin to pray for the sick. You are seven years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. My God. God himself is bringing healing. And bringing deliverance. Healing and deliverance. When you find that person, please seven years where is that person come where are you from benway. Huh? Benway. benway state come stand here how many years seven yes where is your husband he's not here he's not here listen Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something about the power of God. Once you can believe, look at this woman, seven years. Now, many married women, many married women will tell you of the kinds of things that happen in Africa. There are people when they get married, three months is enough, everybody's looking at you. Saying, what, are, nothing is happening, are you alright? Three months. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, be silent, let her go. Now! M my, um, madam, look at me. I'm going to pray for all of you, but lay your hands. I want you to know that the power of God is able to set you free. I know that women will still disobey, but no problem, just let them come. Place your hand in your stomach. There is grace for fruitfulness in this house, so let me tell you the truth. I'm about to pray. Most barrenness issues are demonic. You know that by now. Let me pray for you now. I will use you, Madame, from Benway as a point of contact. I'm praying for her, but I'm seeing someone else under the anointing. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit now. Let them go. I command that spirit out now. Out now. Out now. In the name of Jesus, every spirit responsible for barrenness, I'm seeing something like a rope being removed from one of your wombs. I remove it right now. I remove it right now. I remove it right now. In the name of Jesus, I remove it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I prophesy to you, according to the time of life, return with your miracle children. Return with your miracle children. There is a woman you are watching from Ghana. You are sitting in your living room. You have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for four years. You are seated right now with someone. I don't know if it's your sisters. You are following this program. In the name of Jesus, go and write it. God will give you a baby boy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be offended and I don't want you to come out. But there is a woman you see I don't believe in the ministry of condemnation we help by the spirit but there is a woman because of a prolonged childlessness you again went somewhere and it's not like you were, you were even uncomfortable but they took you somewhere where somebody was supposedly maybe do something to help you and from that time it has been affecting you you have been bleeding this has this is a demonic thing wherever that person is in the name of Jesus we dissociate you from those demonic things we dissociate you from those demonic things hallelujah
Jennifer. I'm hearing a name Jennifer and the Lord is telling me it has come to an end help them please it has come to an end this is what I'm hearing in my spirit it has come to an end Jennifer the word Jennifer that's what I'm hearing I'm about to pray it has come to an end I stretch my hands right now I don't know what it is but in the name of Jesus Christ Jennifer let it come to an end now 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 by the power of the holy spirit now it comes to an end by the anointing of the holy spirit i'm speaking under the unction of the spirit i say it again it comes to an end there is a family right now god is delivering Marriage does not work in that family. No matter, even if you marry, you must return back to your husband's house. I just saw light. I don't know where that family is, whether you are inside or outside. But the power that has tied down. The power that has tied down the marital destiny of that family. I lose that family now. Hallelujah. I lose that family now. Now, Azaria family is also following. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing two ladies. I'm just seeing the venue, our venue in Zaria. And I'm seeing two ladies. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God is coming upon them right now. And the Lord, I'm hearing the word restoration. I believe it's not just for them. But I'm praying for someone. There is a mantle that is coming on someone for strange restoration. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. I'm about to pray. That power will come upon you. This is between now and 15th of December. You will come and testify. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that grace right now. Help them please. Help them please. Help them receive that grace right now. Between now and 15th of December, I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Restore, 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 restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a word for someone. The trouble that is surrounding your office needs the miracle hand of God now. If not, I'm seeing something about to happen to you by next month. This is a career person. Antagonisms around your office. And with what I'm seeing, it's like a query later. And I'm seeing something that is making you lose your job. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking to you by God who is the helper of men. I turn things around for your favor. turn things around for your favor the Lord is showing me I'm seeing a family you are watching from National Hospital National Hospital here in Abuja you are at the sick bed with somebody a patient and I'm seeing you are watching someone is watching the video when it's time to pray for the sick I want your heart to be open the Lord is encouraging you so that you will know that no matter where you are he is able to touch you by his spirit in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there are 11 people here please listen 11 people you are in business the grace is a strong unction for entrepreneurship you are already in business that anointing is coming on you in three months three months from today the way God will shift you it will surprise you 11 people 11 people I stretch my hands right now 11 people inside and outside may that grace rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now hallelujah i'm hearing a name 
This is a Hausa name, Hafsatu. Is it Hafsatu? Hafsatu. Who is that? What is your name? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Jerome State. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I do. Lift your hands. is the grace of Deborah upon you God is going to raise you as a warrior even for your family listen carefully I want you to take some time maybe a day or two or three and just fast and pray and ask the Lord to direct you don't be careless about your life there is a grace that was upon Deborah upon you I stretch my hands for you and I pray for the remaining I, I don't know why they are out but may, probably their names or their loved ones but I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah bring the gentleman that shouts right now under the anointing I want to talk to him there is a gentleman there is a strong anointing not a lady a gentleman if you can please this gentleman is wearing white this is what I'm seeing in my vision. When the power of God comes on him, let me know. Please bring him. Let's hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. Allah shada katosa brandege bara hausia. Shalaga de brandege diasa. There is a man of God here. Please hear me. There's a man of God here. You are in the overflow. You are not outside. You are in the overflow, not the basement. You know, one of the overflows here. You came with a hunger for your ministry because things have not been working. As I'm speaking right now, the power of God is coming upon you. Your one prayer request is not even for yourself. You are saying, Lord, I have done my best. I don't want to compromise, but truly, the ministry is not working. In the name that is above all names, I declare that an unction comes upon you right now. Is this the gentleman? Father, leave him. Okay, he can stand. Stand, my friend. Where are you from? Huh? Cross River State. Cross River. Yes, I want to pray for you. The Lord is bringing captivity to end in your family. What do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. I teach for <laughs> I'm seeing you in prison. I have to pray for you. Don't be, don't feel bad, eh? I'm not, I'm here to help you. Don't feel bad. I'm seeing something happening and I'm seeing you in the court. And from court they are locking you in the prison this has to do with people's money you need to be careful you need to seek advice you're already in trouble now as you are standing it's not even like you are free it's just that it's going to be more trouble that will land you in prison you need help eh? father in the name of Jesus the spirit that wants to put this gentleman in trouble I decree and declare be delivered from it now be delivered from it now but that's not even why I asked you to come out the Lord is going to use you to really deliver your family you believe that yes, I stretch my hands over you and I pray in the name of Jesus may that grace of a deliverer rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ beloved in Christ thank you for watching this video if you are new here too I would entreat you to kindly subscribe to this channel for me and then hit on the like button also I would want you to share this message across I would want you to do one thing for us kindly tell us in the comment section where you're watching us from and you've got any testimony for us kindly let us know thank you for watching stay blessed in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall
Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.